tell me if this happened to you. You watch tutorial on design patterns and on, on maybe object-oriented programming and you wanted to start your own project to open your code and see what you have learned. Just sitting there and knowing that you, even though you understood the entire concept, the entire uh, theory that was being discussed, the entire course, you did all the lessons and everything, but when you're about to sit to write your own programming, your own code, you just sort of cannot get your hands together. What have you learned and what should you do? So why is programming difficult and why is it not your fault? Uh, my wife recently started studying and for whatever reason they started working with Java and she asked me is it a good idea to attend a Java class? So I said sure, why not? I mean, you can only learn something, right? And she started working over the classes and some inheritance and the animal inherits the living being and the human in inheriting the animal and things like that. And she was constantly asking me why should we learn this and then I, I also realized why should you learn that? I talked about this before, but I, when I was in high school, I was learning about sorting the mattresses. And I remember thinking at the time when I was 15 or 16 and uh, looking forward to meeting some friends and girlfriends, why in the world should I sort a mattress and what in the hell the mattress is? And five years later, when I started working as a programmer, I was sort of sorry that I didn't sort those mattresses. And I was a bit mad on myself. Why did I miss that opportunity to, to learn things when I had the chance to? But then I realized at a 16 year old age, it was not my, so my fault to not choose mattresses over everything else that a 16 year old boy thinks about. And I remember first time picking up the book on the learning the HTML. And have you tried ever to learn a foreign language? How does that go? Do you sit and open the dictionary and you learn every possible thing that there is to learn about a foreign language, each word, each pronunciation and everything? The same as HTML, do you sit down and learn every HTML tag? I am still learning Norwegian language and let me tell you, you don't learn it by going over each and every menu lesson and what does it does do and each and every word in each and every HTML tag. You don't do that, you learn what you need to, to learn. But it's not your fault. The tutorials you're watching are wrong. They're just wrong. They're using the easy approach of taking the plastic examples, of taking something that just uh, makes the concept look easy. But in practice, you cannot do anything with it. You cannot make a object a car. You cannot make a food with pizzas. You cannot make the duck, the animal that goes around and quacks and flies. What are you going to do with that in an e-commerce situation, in a CMS blog or whatever you are making? There is just no way you're gonna make any object like that. And I understand that the concept explanation is easier. You sort of use the plastic examples to illustrate something that people might relate to from the real life. But we are not learning the concepts here. We are not about to work conceptually telling to the client, you know, if I were to make you a pizza, then I would make you a sandwich from it and I would make an object that has the properties and whatnot. That does not make any sense to anybody except the teachers who are trying to explain something. And the course that my wife took is uh, the university course. It's not something that she took online from some lousy teacher like me. And it's just that the fact that majority of courses are not good enough. They are just bad. Even my courses especially. So I need your feedback to improve them. And by the way, we are here in the Norwegian mountains. Traveling around the beautiful Norwegian fjord, the Sognefjord. We are staying at Norwegian cabins, enjoying the nature and uh, going for hikes and just enjoying the boys trip. So what can you do about it? Well, you can send this video to your favorite teacher and just get him to think about what he is doing and how he should look from your side of the story, from your perspective. Because it's not the concepts that we are learning about. We are learning about how to do things, how to solve problems. But you can also take from time to time the uh, I don't know, but let's get with it attitude that will help you learn because you will not understand everything at all the time so you can just get things that they are like they are and you can learn new things you learn to use them and then come back and learn the details and figure out why is that happening the way that it's described to like learning the foreign language you don't understand every word and every uh, sentence and every dialect and every small difference but you get the general gist just go with it and then you will uh, eventually learn and go and understand the details or maybe you will just figure it out yourself why are things happening the way they, they are 
And one thing that helped me a lot when I was learning any new concept or any new language or any new uh, technology is to get perhaps a two courses from your favorite teachers. One that's a conceptual that talks about the theory, the concepts and the reasons behind it. And maybe take another con- course from a different teacher who teaches more the practical things. For example, let's make a 10 products projects uh, using the Angular or JX or PHP technology or whatever you're learning and that way you will be forced to use those concepts to use different things to learn uh, to get the muscle memory of how to write the code right and you can jump between them learn the theory learn the practical things go forward go back and then you will get much more progress because if you're just watching the theory the chances are you will get bored or if you're just coding something without understanding what you're doing the chances are you will get frustrated so you can just uh, switch between them and learn at a much faster rate and start with a real project regardless of any path that you choose get one project get something that you need uh, to do to finish have a goal in mind and that will help you actually keep the focus on why are you learning and you will learn only the things that are needed for that project if that is the easier approach for you whatever you choose just keep learning and i will see you in the next video